Section 26 of the Lincoln Storybook by Henry L. Williams Measures and Men Read for LibriVox.org by Joseph Finkberg Measures and Men The earlier audiences at the White House were inspired by ludicrous ideas, far between patriotism and interest in the tall hosier. The habitual attendants and guests soon discovered that the chief was an unrivalled host, adapting modes of reception to the differing kinds of callers. He noticed once two young men who hung about the door, so that, sympathizing with the shy, for he had been woefully troubled by that feeling in his youth, he went over to the pair, and to make them feel at home, asked them to be seated while they looked on. But they didn't care for chairs. The shorter of the two stammered that he and his friend had a talk about the President's unusual height, and would the host kindly settle the matter, and see whether he were as tall as His Excellency. Lincoln, who had been scanning the competitor and smiling, returned, "'He is long enough, certainly. Let us see about that.' He went for his cane. Footnote. Lincoln's cane. This was the cane he carried instead of going armed but he was forever leaving it anywhere about, so that nine times out of ten he went forth without it on his errand, browsing around, and it was a wonder that this time he knew where to find it. And placing the feral end to the wall to act as a level, he bade the young man draw near and stand under. When the rod was carefully adjusted to the top of the head, Mr. Lincoln continued, "'Now step out and hold the cane while I go under.' This comparison showed that the young man stood six feet three exactly, Lincoln's precise figure too. "'Just my height,' remarked the affable president to the herald of the match. He guessed with admirable accuracy. Giving both a shake of the hand, he gave them the good-bye warmly. He had seen that they were innocents, and shrank from letting them know that they had unconsciously offended his dignity. End of section twenty six. This recording is in the public domain.